Hello, everybody, and welcome to Eric's Keto again. Um, today is Waffle Day. We're going to make some blueberry chocolate chip waffles. As you can see, the net carbs are 3.7 without the toppings. If you have the toppings, they're about 5 2. Lots of calories, lots of fat. Ingredients almond flour, butter, low carb milk, organic blueberries. Um, my monk fruit sweetener again. And Lily's chocolate chips. And we're going to add some salt. Cream of tartar and baking soda. And 10 eggs. So this is a very egg heavy, protein heavy breakfast for those of you that eat breakfast. And I give them to my kids quite a bit. They love them. So we're just going to start mixing up the eggs, uh, get them beat up real good. We're going to add the wet ingredients first, and then we're going to add the rest of the dry ingredients after. I use Fair Life because it's uh, less than half the carbohydrates of normal milk. You can experiment if you want. Um, I've already experimented. I've tried half and half. I've tried heavy whipping cream. And the problem I get with those is that they become very, very crunchy. Um, and they don't taste quite as good. So the total carbohydrates of the cup and a half of Fair Life is only nine. So less than half of a carb per uh, waffle. So for me, it was worth it. So we're going to go ahead and add the... Uh, the salt and the baking soda and the cream of tartar. I'm going to mix that in with the almond flour and get it to a, a pretty smooth consistency. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the consistency here in just a few minutes. It's kind of hard to stir with one hand. I need to get a better way. I apologize. So we're going to melt the butter in the microwave and after you've got your all your ingredients um, other than the butter chocolate chips and blueberries we're going to mix in the butter you don't want to mix in the hot butter with the eggs you don't want that stuff to turn or curdle at all so it's best to do it towards the end of the process Give it a good mix. If you find that your batter is not thick enough, you can add uh, some more almond flour and add some more Locanto or Arifatol or whatever you're using. But if it's uh, too thick, then you can add a little more milk. It won't really affect it that much. So once you get it mixed up pretty smooth, um, we're gonna fold in the chips and the blueberries so we're, we're done with the whisk and we're gonna just use a scoop or you can use a spoon or whatever just gently fold them in you want to beat up or break up the blueberries too badly when you first put the blueberries in it gives a little bit of a purple color to it but it'll go away so here's the consistency check so it should look something like that. You need to be able to pour it into your waffle maker and spread it around. Okay, time to put in the first batch. I use coconut oil. I've used avocado oil before. I've used olive oil before. And I've even tried to use butter before. And frankly, you just don't, you don't get the non-stick that you need. And sometimes they stick with the other oils, but with coconut oil, I've not had that problem at all. So 
pour a scoop in there and move it around. You want it to be pretty much flat with the top of your ridges. So don't overdo it or it will spill out the sides. Before they're cooking or while they're cooking, go ahead and get a, a plate and if you have parchment paper or if you, I don't know, if you have like one of those flexible cutting boards or anything that you can put between the layers as uh, you make batches, that will help. They're going to come out and they're going to be very fragile and very soft. So I take a knife and I just cut between the waffles gently. I don't want to scratch up the waffle maker, but just keep them from sticking to each other while you're taking them out and get them a little bit of room to come out of the waffle maker. Then you start one on, on one edge and you lift it with the knife and then get your spatula on there and then just gently lift it. So it's going to be a golden brown. It's black. You cooked too long, obviously. Now I went ahead and put the parchment paper on there, but not a good idea. Wait till the next batch is just about ready because that parchment paper, when it gets heat on it, it starts to change shape and it can fall on the ground or all kinds of weird stuff. So just put the next batch in, continue on. Between each batch, you need to reapply the coconut oil. For my waffle maker, I have it on a setting of four out of five for darkness, and it takes about 10 to 11 minutes for it to cook for each batch. So that's what the first batch looked like. Some of you may decide to not use parchment paper, but if you do that, uh, you will find that they stick together and quite well, and they're very hard to get off, so. All right, well, once you're done, you can either eat it just plain. Uh, my kids eat it plain probably half the time. You can just put some Lakanto syrup or your favorite non-sugar one, uh, Walden's makes one. Um, or you can really fancy it up for my kids. Um, they like it fancied up sometimes, so I like to try to make it pretty. Cut up some thin cut strawberries. Uh, one strawberry generally will cover the whole waffle, so that's not too bad. I don't cook with the Lakanto powdered very often, um, but I do keep it around just to make waffles or cookies look interesting, like especially a lemon cookie dusted with some of that really looks cool. So I don't think my kids and I even taste it, but it just looks interesting. And then if you want to get real fancy, you can grab some, just a handful of extra chips, just a few, and mix that in. Now this is a 285 calorie per each, so sometimes the kids will just eat one, sometimes I'll just eat one, sometimes we eat two. Really depends on what you're eating for the rest of the day. And then I just lightly put on the syrup. I don't use a whole serving. You really don't need to. They're really sweet by themselves. Thanks for watching. Check out ericsketo.com.